Welcome to the Leo Maddox Show. Da 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 da. So this is um apparently this is the Bumblebee Retro Highway Retro Pop Highway. Yes. And guys, I discovered a feature about this. You press this. Oh yes, guys. It's just like it's it's like a dual cassette deck, um, and so you might need to ask someone who was around in the 80s what that actually is what a dual cassette deck is but this box is apparently meant to be part of this whole thing I and this. okay let's take a look at it real quick first look at there's the little car yeah so there's bumblebee so it looks like a cassette tape guys so side a side side b right there and, and guess what they have their own little songs too. oh yeah we'll show them that in a second so so guys this is the Studio Series 20 Bumblebee, and he's the gold Bumblebee. Uh, and this has been on Leo's radar basically ever since he saw him. And you can see there is, it, so you got the tape here. This is, so it was a magnetic tape. That's what this thing on the bottom is. And I still have a number of these cassettes, guys. I don't know if you do. Probably most of you don't. But I sell quite a few of these. This was a, what would have been a blank because they came two sides that were 45 minutes each. So volume two, Retro Pop Highway, front and back, people right on with Sharpies, and they did a really good job actually duplicating that on both sides. Uh, so this is, this would have been a dual, this is so cool, a dual cassette uh, recorder, and they have this so that you would like literally just plop the tapes in there and fold it back up. And that is all of Bumblebee's accessories. And I don't know if we're gonna actually be able to get this out of here without, Annihilating this packaging. You can no. see it's got the little screws here. No, you actually um you just cut those tape. You just cut the tape and open them open it up from well, the Well the, the tape isn't holding anything, I don't think. Is it? Let's see. Yeah. Is it? No, it isn't. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Oh there's clear tape in there. Sneaky. Okay guys, let's do that real quick. Wait guys, while dad does that, I'm gonna read you. Side A. Won't you roll out without me? Two. Spark of rock and roll. Three, optics without base, without a base plate. Four, Mr. Dot Cassie Tobo Toe Blaster Blast Blaster Rover Emix. Side B, Rock Me Alpha Tronin. Tronin. Owner Owner of a Lonely Spark. Hold you like a Predacon. Walk like a Cybertronian. Okay. So let's get this All right, guys. So let's take a look at this. And uh, so Leah's going to take that out. And I'm going to try to show you here from the side. And you can see this is just a slipcase. There's nothing inside of it. Retro Pop Highway Volume 2. I believe this was a one of the Comic Cons. This was the exclusive, I believe, to one of the Comic Cons. I don't actually remember. So here's what Leo was talking about. He got the LF80 stickers. And this is obviously meant to tie in with the Bumblebee movie. So, we have so, number one, as Leo was saying, won't you roll out with me? Won't you roll out with me? And then, of course, guys, it's supposed to be don't you forget about me. We have number two, Spark of Rock and Roll. What's that one supposed to be? Uh, it, was, it was a song from Hugh Lewis and the News called Heart of Rock and Roll. But I don't like that song, so I'm not going to attempt to sing it for you guys. Uh, optics without a faceplate was eyes without a face, so optics without a faceplate. <laughs> Horrible. We got Mr. Cas. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Casato Bato. Domo arigato, Mr. Casato Bato. Domo, domo. That's supposed to be Mr. I am Bata. the modern man. So we've got Blaster Road Trip Remix. With parts made in Japan. That's funny, Mr. Cassetto Boto. <laughs> Ridiculous. Here's one of the tapes. Okay, one of the tapes, and okay, guys, and of course we have. Boom, 
boom, ooh, rock me up a trying. Boop, boop, ooh, rock me up a trying. Boop, boom, ooh, rock me up a trying, 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 up a trying. Ooh, 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 up a trying, up a trying. Ooh, 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 up a trying. Come on and rock me up a trying. All right, guys, so that was obviously Rock Me Up, uh, rock me up a Deus. And of course, two is owner of a lonely spark. Owner of a lonely spark. What is that? It's a song. It's a so it's supposed to be the only owner of a lonely heart by a band called Yes. And we have Hungry Like a Predacon. And now Hungry Like a Predacon. I think work. I know what that one is supposed to be. What is it? I think it's supposed to be like Hungry Like a Wolf. Hungry Like the Wolf from Duran Duran. Yes, indeed. And we have Walk Like a Cybertronian. Walk like a Cybertronian. Uh, that doesn't work either. Is that so, like walk like walk on the wild? No, it's like walk like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egyptian. And that, of course, guys, that video made everybody in the '80s fall completely in love with Susanna Hoffs. So if you're listening, Susanna, hi. Okay. Oh, we got some snips. Okay, guys. Look. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Bum bum, bum bum. There's a secret. Bum bum. I've been hiding. Bum bum. Under my skin. My heart is human. My blood is boiling. My brain IBM. Ah! Fell out. So Studio Series. This one doesn't actually have the thing that goes behind it, eh? It's just got this other nifty packaging. Okay. What else we got? Wait, can you see that cassette? Can it, can it, can it, can it, can it? Oh, here's how this goes, guys. It just kind of, it's all taped together like so. We got snips everywhere. Oh, really? Is there seriously no way to get these out without it? Oh, whoa. Guys, look at this. Zaru and Uriad. Did you see this, dude? Look, yeah. they have names. Zaru, Ariad? Yeah, and they have... That's weird. Oh my gosh, this is absurd. This is, like, it's not, it's not, this is almost impossible trying to get these out without annihilating everything. Oh, that's annoying. Wow, well, I don't know how to do that. Okay, I'm going to have to think on this. Okay, guys, so apparently, so this is the Decepticon, is it? And His then, name is? Uh, Uriad. No, this is the Decepticon. The yellow one's the Decepticon. No, that's the Autobot. Wait, what? No, they're both Autobots. Huh? What? It looks like an Autobot shield. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, this one's a Decepticon. So yellow is a Decepticon, and the red one is... <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> These are neat. These, this is kind of like almost exactly what cassettes look like. Close, anyway. Very close. So they would have fooled me. No, they wouldn't have really fooled me. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out how to get all the weapons out. Okay, here's one gun. So these are all the little guys guns, I guess. Maybe the, the little guys make like super weapons or something. I don't know what they do. So we got, uh oh, bumblebee weapons if I can get them out without destroying them guys. Yep, there's a sword thing. And what else we got here? Ah! Man, I don't even know how to do this. Oh, this is just absurd. This packaging is really cool, guys, but it's really super. Oh, come on. Obnoxious as well. Okay. Did that work? Of course not. Okay. So this is a, whoa, he's got a weapon here. Looks like a multi-barreled weapon of some kind. What else we got? Oh, we got his head. I'm assuming that's just a battle mask and he has a non-battle mask otherwise. Okay. Oh, it's such a tiny head. Oh, are they combiners? Okay. All right, and more guns. What if the guns are supposed to be cut together somehow or something? 
Okay, well, that was completely obnoxious, and let's throw this back in here. Okay, guys, we managed not to ruin the box just yet. So, go box! Okay, all guys, right. these guys are supposed to be dinosaurs. Uh, oh, they are? Yeah, okay. see, look at this. Okay, guys, and here is... Bumblebee in his vehicle mood. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. Look at how puny he is. <gasps> he's so puny. Oh, it's got the VW emblem. Center of the hood. That's a nice touch. I like that. I like that action. He's got a little Bumblebee right here in the graphic. This, this is, uh, you know, honestly, I will say, oh, man, yeah, stay, stay, stay notched in, buddy. Red taillights. This is uh, actually a really good car. This is awesome in vehicle mode. And there's his face. And it doesn't look especially complex either, guys, I must say. So we will get to the transformation shortly, but it looks like Leo is working out the dinosaur ones. I am going to transform you, this guy, but first I'm going to show you how to transform him. Okay. So first... So do they both transform the same way? Um, no. Oh, okay. okay so first do that, then okay. hold out the tail. Okay. Hold out the arms. You're done. Oh, really? All right, let's check it out. Oh, these are little dino bots. Oh, this is goofy. Looks like a snake. All right, guys. So well, let's take a look at this one in vehicle mood. Metal position. Oh, this is <laughs> this is silliness. <laughs> what? What is the point of these? I mean, they're what? No, really. What is the point of these? I <laughs> okay. So they apparently combine into something. Okay, let's see the transformation for Ur Uriad or Ezekiel or whatever his name is. Okay, so first, hold up legs and the tail. And then hold up the head. Hold up the tiny, tiny arms. And I think you like flip these over. Then like hold the arms. Pull the legs out. Ta-da! He's a, a tiny T-Rex. Let's check it out. Rawr. 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 Okay, let's check it out. Okay, guys, so here is... Oh, look at his tiny little arms that go this way. Why do they go this way? Is, it, is there... Wait. Oh, okay, because his... Wait, 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 wait. How, does his head have to spin or something, dude? Are you sure this is... Because his arms go this way, right? His little T-Rex arms? Ah! Nope, they get folded back in like a little knife. And his foots are facing this way. Oh, this is bizarre. Okay, so this should be his head should be here. Oh, wait a minute. This is why. Okay. So these have to come out. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. <laughs> look at his guys guys look at his little arms except his legs are still backwards weird uh i think we're not doing something right it's wrong right correct still i don't know anyway you can get the idea that's a t-rex i guess even though his oh wait this is why why because you forgot to pull the speed all the way out Oh, come on, foots. Foots don't feel me now. Ah, oh, come on, foot. Okay, there we go. Oh, there it is, dude, like this. There it is, guys, the old T-Rex. Looking like a T-Rex. Okay, we'll send it back over there. I so, am transforming these guys and this guy into, a, into legs. Oh, okay, to put them together. Okay, and it looks like Leo is going to work out how to put them into one figure. Okay, guys, and so the cassettes, as you guys saw, make little dinosaurs, but you can also combine the sets into something larger. Yes, larger than life. I don't know what that is, though. What is the larger thing? The larger thing is a huge robot, and I know how to do it. Ew. So the first thing is, this guy has to go a certain order. He has to go like this. And then take the two legs, split, and then flip this over, and it'll reveal a secret head. Whoa. And the tail taps into a t part to the legs. 
And by the way, right before we jump into the legs and connect them, these two weapons look like G1. Oh yeah, kind of, those chrome weapons, yeah. Okay, so we got the blasters, alright, so we have this guy in this really odd shape right now, and alright, it looks like he's got a Deceptum of a face sculpt. Alright, and what's next? So the legs. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is bring these two out, but what you didn't know is you do this. Ow! That must have hurt. To twist it like that rapidly. But remember, you have to turn <laughs> this. Make sure it goes like this. I like to keep them like this, but there's, you see these two? Well, the shafts, that's what I always thought of them. These would go down here. I'm just going to keep them like this so we can uh, have a cowboy leg. Legs. You just fold these. So, um, you see this little tab right here? You see this little tab? See, you see this little, this big hole? What you're going to do from there is tab into the big hole, oh. connect it, and there you have them. Okay guys, let's take a little look at this, um... This guy actually might be up to try on. No, I think it's just a combiner of the two little micros. So what you do with the guns? And does it, um... Oh, this has got weird. So guys, there's... Just odd articulation. This is kind of a, this is kind of the useless. I know, right? Yeah, this is a. I mean, here, here it is, guys. You can kind of take a look at. It. it looks like his head should be in the front, though. No? Can we plug it in the other way? Mm. Can we plug it in the other way? No, it doesn't look like it. Huh? There's a little. What if we put his head? Between his legs and oh wait, where's his head? Where'd your head go? Oh, there it is. His head. Head. Okay. It, it, head, it. When it's his head. <laughs> there. No, he's a plane. <laughs> okay, now let's actually right. move on to the actual car. Right. Now I learned how to transform this, so let's do this. So the let's first thing. Do it. The first thing you'll want to do is pull this back. Now there's a good reason for this too. Because he doesn't need a bumper? No. Oh. And then oh my gosh. take this shell, pull it back, then take the door, two doors, hold them here. Take the um take these. These are gonna be the arm ports, so pull these back, like so. You see the window parts? Pull them down here, and then pull this part. Down here, this part. Unplug it. Then, and then pull this part in. This doesn't seem like it's too bad of a transformation, then, huh? Then pull up the shin. Looks like it's pull not too bad, eh? Mm-hmm. Pull up the feet. Stand up. And once and for all, you are going to... Yeah, I just didn't need that. Well, this is where the gun would go. Oh, okay. So, well, you just have this back in. Yeah, that that's right, because you have to take his arm off to put the gun on. Which is honestly kind of a nuisance, guys. That part I don't like. I mean, as far as studios go... And then you, and then you fold this part. So these should be like this. And if you were following my steps... Just fold these two back, and this is what your thing should look like so far. Okay, is he done? He's not done quite yet. You have to turn him, and fold out the arms. Fold out the hands, and and then fold, um, then you fold the two parts of the, uh, his face full off. He doesn't need a face. Yeah, he does. If you remember the song, you got a face I'll right there. It's out of faceplate. <laughs> yes, guys. Come on! <laughs> his, his face really doesn't want to stay on. But maybe he wants his armored face. Mm, well, we can show him the feature in the close up. Okay. And then fold these back. And then, you see this big? Fold this back too. You have Bumblebee. Whoa, there he is. 
those guys. He's really chunky in the back, though. <laughs> yeah, he's a little kibbly. Let's take a look at him. Okay, so just real quick. Oh, wait, I forgot one step. Pull these two into the tabs. Now you're finished with them. Okay. So. All right, guys, let's take a look. And we'll take a look at his battle armor also. Shoot that on over, buddy. So yeah. like, like I was saying, guys, um, there it is. Oh, I like this battle armor. His face sculpt's good. I mean, it's okay. It's definitely the movie face sculpt. Ah, oh, dance on the house. What if we put... What if we put... This, this, this helmet is really... Yeah, let's put it... Yeah, let's do There we go. Guys, uh, leave a comment. Let us know which of these you like better. So... Um, I would say as... Drop me off a try-on. I would try-on off a try-on. What I would say here, guys, is... Pineapple try-on. Pineapple try-on? Okay. <laughs> try on some pineapple. What I would say here, guys, is... Uh, how could, wait, okay, wait a second. Oh, never mind. Okay. All right, guys, so what I would say here is... Uh, his legs are... Somewhat longer in proportion to the rest of them, but not actually bad. So I would say this is actually one of the better studio figures, I think. And he can hold, can he hold the silver weapons? He can, right? Can he? Yeah, he can. Check this out. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, he. Look at yeah, this. Yes, he could. Look at this. He has willy shaps coming right out of his neck and tail. Oh, no, actually, no, I don't think he can, dude, because you have to rotate it. <laughs> so, guys, like I was saying, one of the better ones, and I think this is a lot less shortcut-y taking, I guess I will say, than some of the other figures. They uh, clearly spent this time. So this is an online exclusive for online retailers. However, Diamond got a hold of it, so we found it in comic shops as well. And... They, this one, I guess, must not have done super great because we found a lot of it uh, on discount for the uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday thing. So, but overall, I think this is a really good look. I, he, he looks great in both modes, I think. I like it, this, like Leo was saying, this back panel stuff is very, 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 very kibbly. And can you, can we not hold up any more than that? Is this, is this, we can't, like, hide the hood and hide this anymore? No, you can't. I mean, I guess you could do this and just have him give him, like, he's got a trench coat. I have a roof trench coat. Yes! I think I like him a little bit better. I don't like BW Beatles, but I think I like him a little bit better in Buca mood. Uh, I think just overall it looks really good. And this one, I think, looks just more more okay, but it's very small. This is a very, very small figure. But, yeah, what do you think, buddy? Cool. Is this the best one we ever? Yep. It is? Whoa. Guys, leave us a comment let us know what you think the best one we ever is. All right, and you want to put him back into, ah! Vehicle mode. Vehicle mode. So, the first thing I like, I like to do is um hold this part out then check out the back panel of the door the bubble V is the camera and he is flying off so he he sort of looks like a bee Next step is unplug these. And then we'll fold this up. And then through here. And fold in. Hold into these little parts right here. And of course. And just put 
fold this in and put this back in the hole. Do that. Let yourself go. Just gotta love chimney snacks. Yeah, so so this guy being able to have different options sort of works against things a little bit yeah. and that some of these parts come off super easy. Yep. But it's not as bad as a lot of the other ones. Yep. This transformation on this is actually not bad. Yep. This guy likes to work against me so much that not even the easiest part likes to go back onto its body, its host. So now, there's one thing you can do, and that's flip it, dip it. Also open it back with these panels, twist it around. Look at this, you got your own, yourself, your own car twister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this might hurt to bumblebee, but open up the back, slide this through, come on, okay, come on, and then connect it, and then pull this part back. All you do from there is snap, crackle, pop. And then a little extra snap. Just. Okay, guys, and here he is. One more time. Good old bumblebees. And very panel -y, very panel -y bumblebee. Uh, I, I like that there's black windshield. I like the details on this are really quite good. They did paint chrome on the mirror, but I guess I could do that. We've got, we've got um, the yellow signals here, guys. You know, actually, I, I will say that this is the best studio I've seen so far. The level of detail on this is just, they just went all out for it. Tremendous. It is, it really is. Like they just went for it. I don't. I'm not in love with seeing all these robot parts through the windows, but I am glad that they use clear, clear glass on it. And the wheels. I, and I'm not. I'm not actually in love with this back wheel system. But my, those are minor, minor, minor quibbles. Overall, this is a really good figure. So guys, there it is. Our look at. Oh. Studio Series number 20, um. the Retro Prop Highway Bumblebee, which was an online exclusive. And also, we had Zaru and Uriad. Uriad! Ouch! Which is the Decepticon of Dairu. And they just obviously did his name backwards. That's fun. That's fun. Those are our two cassette dinosaurs. That just are, are kind of here. So, guys, if you did enjoy this look, guys, please give us that old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already, guys. I don't know if you guys will be able to see comments or notification bell, guys. If you can and you would like to use those things, please feel free to do that, guys. Whether they are or not, guys, we would encourage you to follow us on our Twitter feed. Where updates to the channel are made in more or less live and direct time, guys. And also there's Twitter specific content as well, guys. You can comment on the videos there, guys, if you care to do that. <laughs> or leave us any other comment, guys, if you'd like to do that. But here it is. One last look at Studio Series number 20 Deluxe Class Retro Pop Highway Bumblebee. A very great package, guys. If you like Bumblebee, especially the slug bug version of him. Definitely guys, this is something very worthwhile to chase down. Although I would say normally this is 60 bucks.
This is not a $60 package to me. We found it for half price during the Black Friday Cyber Monday celebrations, guys. And I would encourage you to kind of keep your eye out for a deal like that as well. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.